What's happening, people of the boxing world? It is your boy, O Nice, and welcome to the fight room. It's been a long time. I am back. Now, let's talk about Tiafimo Lopez versus Richard Comey, taking place Saturday, December 14th, live on ESPN. And it is going to be a good fight, y'all. I believe it's going to be a good fight. Richard Comey is a dangerous fighter for Teofimo Lopez. Reason being, the guy got knockout power. He has knockout power. You know, um, I seen the fight with him and um, Robert Easter Jr., Comey. They had fought before. It was a good fight. Uh, Comey, it was a good fight. Overall, it was a good, good fight. I'll tell you this. Richard Comey has a hell of a chin. Hell of a chin. Uh, Robert Easter Jr. tagged him like two or three times. Almost knocked his head off. And the guy didn't go down. You know, he got stumbled. His knee buckled. But he did not go down, man. That man has a chin. Not only does he have a chin, the guy can box. The guy can move around. The guy is strong. And his boxing stance, he's an orthodox fighter. And his orthodox fighting, you know, his stance is great. The way he moves around. And it's going to be a pretty, pretty, pretty good, interesting fight for Teofimo Lopez. And it's definitely going to be a big, big test for him. Now, I recently seen the interview with Teofimo Lopez uh, in a boxing channel called AB Boxing. Shout out to him. Lopez thanked Comey for giving him the opportunity for the IBF title. And he goes on to say that, uh, you know, they asked him if Comey has more experience than he does. And he said, yeah, on opponents, but not necessarily in fighting, which I don't get. I know that Teofimo had a, uh, like about 180-something or 40-something amateur fights, which is good. Um, but he said that Comey only has opposition as experience, more better opposition. Well, yeah, but he also has enough fights and more knockouts than Lopez has wins. So it could be kind of frightening. You know, uh, Teofimo's a good fighter, man, a small young man that is coming up. The only thing with him is, you know, he has a big head on his shoulder. And I get it. I get it. When you got, you know, a talent like you, like he does that carries a lot of power, um, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't be like that? You know, but um, hopefully his father, the senior, would go and show him more of, of, of a all-around boxing instead of just a one-hit power, knockout power thing, you know? Um, because with this fight with Comey, man, he's going to have to use the ring and he's going to have to box. Like, there's not there's not, not this one-punch power thing going on. I mean, it can happen. Don't get it messed up because Comey sometimes is vulnerable and can leave himself open. I've seen that with the uh, Easter fight. But he does have a hell of a chin and he moves forward and has a lot of power and, and he packs. I can see we can see that the guy has, he's fit pretty well and can be a very, very tough fight for Tiafimo Lopez. Though he said he's here to stay and said that uh, Comey has never fought a fighter like him and he's going to back everything up come December 14th. He's going to show the world that he's here to stay. That's what he said. And... You know, he talked about Haney as well, about the WBC and how they make these guys franchise champions and, you know, all sorts of other things. But the main topic of the conversation was Comey, and he's pretty much basically said that he's ready and he's here to stay. And we're going to see that December 14th. Now, Comey has 29 wins, two losses, and 26 by knockout. He lost to Robert Easter Jr., and some guy by the name of Dennis Shaz, Shafizkov. I can't really say that. Shafizkov. Back-to-back -back losses in 2016. And then he bounced back from that and won five straight ever since then. And is looking real good, real sharp. He's from Ghana. You know, um, 
He's a orthodox fighter representing the South Bronx. Excuse me, the Bronx. I'm from the South Bronx, so I, you know, I normally would say that. He's from the Bronx, representing the Bronx. Um, KO power, man. He does got KO power. 29 wins, and out of them 29, knocked out 26 opponents. Yeah, he's packing. And you can't say he ain't packing. And we all know Tiafimo is packing as well with his devastating knockouts that he's been having. And if we was to say who has the better knockouts, you know, view, if you want to, you know, just put it out there, whatever the case may be, if you want to say who got the better knockouts, you might say Tiafimo, okay. But Komei got some power. This fight is not going to distance, said Lopez. So he's expecting one of them to get knocked out. <laughs> you know. Now we all know this is a 135 pound division fight And the champion in that division is Vasily Lomachenko That has the Ring Magazine WBA and the WBO championship belts And Devin Haney has a WBC Because they just made Vasily Lomachenko Supposedly a franchise champion Which is some nonsense from the WBC Another topic for another conversation that I will be doing. Um, Komei has the IBF title. So, you know, Tiafimo, if he wins against Komei, then he should be having the shot for the Ring Magazine WBA and WBO title against Lomachenko. Um, hopefully, maybe he'll fight Devin Haney because uh, they had back... Back in the day, they had sparred, and we all know the situation with, with both of them, that they used to talk back-to-back -back against each other and say all sorts of stuff. And from what I remember, Tia Fimo was the one that started the whole topic of conversation about him sparring Haney and getting the best out of Haney. And that would be an interesting fight as well because Haney is also, man, he's a special fighter as well. And I see that he's going to be here for quite, quite, quite a while. Uh, special type fighter, man. He's getting better. He's always been good. Um, th you know, another topic. But overall, man, this fight is going to be pretty good. And hopefully you guys do not miss it. It's going to be on ESPN December 14th for the IBF title. And Lopez said, this ain't going a distance. So tune in ESPN December 14th. The fight is on. Thanks a lot. You already know it is. Oh, nice. And share the fight room.